or to say, hey guys, it's Klaus, welcome to Klaus Picks. You know, if you had to get one tier 8 premium tank in this game, if you only wanted one, which one would you get? Well, today let's watch Spiritoni drive his IS-6 Russian tier 8 premium heavy tank with the great armor, the premium preferential matchmaking, eh? and the Russian reputation for trolling your enemy with your arm. This has still got to be one of the best premium tanks in the game. Makes a shit ton of credits. It's that preferential matchmaking. Never sees tier 10s. So you're usually top tier or close to top tier. There's a lot of new premium tanks in the game these days that have lots of better guns. Higher pen. The IS-6 only has 175 pen with its regular AP round. Only 217 with the premium route. And you could get a Scorpion these days that has more pen with the regular route. But you know, the IS-6 is still the big badass boss. And let's watch Spiritoni. I'm just going to call him Spiritoni because I like that name. <laughs> Klaus likes it. And he's going to aim and take a shot. And when you hear that Russian commander say, Primitia, it's pretty good because that means you did at least 390 damage. And here he goes, bouncing a shot from an IS-3. And he's going to move in and just shoot regular AP. Do not have any premium ammo loaded here. He's got the regular AP round. And let's see what he does. He's going to try and poke around and work this corner. The heavy corner where the big boys fight. Spiritoni, he's got he's got the big boy pants on. He's wearing the big boy pants and he's moving up and bouncing another shot. Look at that, that IS-6 armor. It's not very thick, but it's angled so that he can he can move in and take shots and bounce shots. So he's bounced a couple of shots. And he's taken a couple of shots. He's doing pretty good. He's, look at that. That one hit the tracks. He's taken no damage yet. And he's going to just wait and carefully aim. And try and hit the Coppola. And there he goes. 447 damage on the Coppola of a, of a heavy tank. And that's what the IS-6 can do with the regular rounds. How much damage has he bounced or blocked so far? We'll find out. I mean, he's going to take a shot on the IS-3 and look at that. This guy knows how to use the IS-6. He's not just driving in, pushing forward like a Yahoo. He's picking his shot. He didn't do what that guy just did. He's moving in, aiming. Oh, he missed. He hit his dead teammate. He tried. He had the shot on the IS-3. Oh, and his other Yahoo teammate just died. So that's what you do if you're if you're a stupid that has no clue how to drive a tank. Those two guys just drove up there, just drove in front of the enemies like Yahoos, and Spiritoni went up to help them, and he's got himself in a little bit of trouble here, but Oristola, <laughs> bouncing more shots. And why the hell did his teammates rush up to die like that? What the hell were they thinking? You know what they were thinking? They were thinking, let's let Spirotoni win Kalabanov's medal. Let's make sure that we all die so it's just him versus five enemies at the end, and he can win. You think that's going to happen? Well, you're going to have to keep watching. Oh, he took a couple of big hits there. His teammates died, and now he does not have eyes around that corner. There's obviously someone camped back there with good camel that can shoot him, so he's going to turn around and go back. And his team just continues to move up into the... Here goes the, the Stuart Emil on top of the hill. What do you think is going to happen to him? Oh, he actually used his gun depression. He's going to back up. Is he going to stay alive? Hopefully he stays alive. And here he goes. Okay, he's going to have a shot on this guy. He's lining it up. And... Oh, he bounced. He bounced. 
Oh, and he's... Eddie? Absorbed by the track. Okay. So the two heavyweights have bounced on each other. Now he's going to move in, try and take a shot on this IS-3. The other heavily armored, non-premium Russian heavy. And he's spotted. Of course he's spotted. The IS-3 is right there. Is he going to shoot the Coppola? He's going to try and aim. He's trying to bait a shot here. The IS-3 is waiting. The two heavyweights. He's going to pull up. He's going to take the shot now. And, oh, he bounced. Bounced with the APCR. He's got APCR loaded now. The IS-3 is moving in for the kill. The IS-3's got a hit. Can he get him back? Oh, he bounced again because it's the IS-3. Shot the side and, of course, did not even scratch him. Just hit the tracks. The is is going to get another shot. Is he dead? No, he outshoots him and gets him. And now he's alone. He was alone versus five. That was the fifth. He's killed one. There's four left. Here comes the Yahoo. The Yahoo shoots... The ground like a moron and is dead. What the hell was that? What the hell just happened? This is why the IS-6 is so good. Because there's a lot of yahoos out there that have no clue what they're doing. Did you see that guy? <laughs> he come barreling over that hill like, oh, like this guy. What the hell? Another one. What, what's going on here? They're just running around like, like rodents. What? What's? Oh, he! What is going on in this game? Close can't even keep up. The Yahoos are cresting the hill like maniacs, charging in. It's my turn to go. Ah! Okay, it's my turn to go. Ah! What? What's going on? First the Cromwell, then the E25. Who's next? Okay, come on. Who's next? He's killed three of the five at the end. So if he kills these two, he wins Kolobinov. Look, he's spotted. Someone's over there. He's spotted. But it's just a VK3002M or a VK3601H. Now, the three... Actually, both tanks with their premium ammo could, could pen the IS-6 if they hit the right part of the armor. So... What's he going to do? You can't sit here forever. You're going to have to make a move. Should you just drive up or drive all the way around? He's going to go for it. He knows he was spotted, but he's just going to go for it. So he killed the IS-3. He killed the two yahoos. And now he's, he's trying to find the campers. The IS-3, the yahoos, and the campers. Sounds like a good series. Plus, you probably start one. The IS-3, the Yahoos, and the Campers. Yeah. Well, let's see. Come on. Spiritoni. Let's go for it, Spiritoni. Where the, where the hell are they? They spotted you a minute ago. Did they just run away like pathetic pussies? Where the hell are they? They're going to be somewhere in the bushes. They'll probably get the first shot. So you're going to have to rely on the armor of the IS-6. You're going to have to rely on that Russian armor, angled. But if they're up on the hill, they could be shooting down on you. If they shoot down on you, they could pen. But you know what? You know what? There were two yahoos. You think there might be another yahoo come barreling down that hill any second? Okay. They. You know what? They might have snuck around behind. He's... He's facing the right way because he just came from the way he's not facing. And there was nobody there. But the VK3002M is probably fast enough can get behind them. Let's see where they come from. And there he is. How the hell did he get there? The third Yahoo comes down, parks behind the house, and does not shoot. What the hell was that? Yeah, sneak up behind you. But it's probably a good idea to not shoot. We'll just sit here and die. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, it's World of Tanks. Welcome to Kolobinov's Metal Time. What? Well, you know, what's the difference between a Yahoo that just drives by and misses and a Yahoo that just drives up and decides to jerk off behind the house instead of shooting? 
I don't know. Okay, where's the other guy? Yeah, the IS-3, the three yahoos, and the useless camper. Put them all together, and what do you get? Kolobanov's medal. That's what you get. Is it Kolobanov's medal for standing versus five enemies and winning? Spartan, Steel Wall, Invader, and Top Gun. What a game. And uh, on top, blocked over 2,500 damage, and he made over 50,000 profit, even though he shot some premium ammo. So thank you all for watch. You're all epic. And remember, if you need one premium tank in this game, give the IS-6 some consideration. It's still the Russian beast.